previously on Pocket Mirror. Queen Egliette attempts to execute us once and for all. After escaping her guards though, it appears that she is the one that was executed instead. We rescue a prissy little girl trapped in a box named Flera and agree to accompany her to her playhouse. However, we get lost on the way through the maze garden and Fleta's true personality rears its ugly head. Eventually, we make it to the playhouse to play with Fleta, although that doesn't seem such an appealing proposition given the circumstances. Alright guys, welcome back to Pocket Mirror. And we are in Miss Fleta's lovely dollhouse. Not sure how long it's gonna stay lovely, but that's what we're here to find out. Welcome home, princess. Who's that with you, princess? Oh, she's a very special friend. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello, miss. Welcome to our home. Thank you, pumpkins. Be sure to make the most of the rare peaceful moments in life, little girl. For it is all but one frightening storm. Our own livings here are shortened by father time, and occasionally even by the whims of others. So be careful, my dear. There will be times when you will need to consult with your little weakened heart. Ah, please, Pumpkin, just shut up already. I told you not to bother my guests with your boring lectures. No, Fleta, it's fine, I don't mind. But I do mind. I order you to never, ever say those kinds of silly things ever again. Are we clear, Pumpkin? Yes, your highness. It's such a lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess not so soon. Oh, wait. Princess, princess, I have a big favor to ask of you. You do? What is it, Pumpkin? You see, princess, my tooth fell out this morning, and I really want to get a coin from the tooth fairy. So would you please put my tooth under my leaves? <laughs> Me? Oh no, pumpkin, there's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. But princess, I just want the tooth fairy to pay me a visit. Ha! <laughs> Quit it, pumpkin, I'm not touching your filthy tooth. Fleta, it's just a tooth. And besides, Mr. Pumpkin even asked you nicely and everything. Oh, is that so? Why don't you do it then? Gladly. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will? Really? Yes. Oh, look at me. I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. All right, then. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so much better than Fleta. I got it. Let me just put it under your leaves. And it's all done. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. You're welcome, pumpkin. I hope you can meet the Tooth Fairy tonight. Me too. Thank you so much, miss. Are you two done yet? Um, uh, yes. Don't waste my time. I want to go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. Alright, we've talked to these three pumpkins. Going up to your room, princess. Why, yes, I am, pumpkin. I see. Be careful not to eat too many sweets or else you'll get a tummy ache. Is that so, pumpkin? Come on, let's go. Can we examine the lamp? <laughs> I knew it. Games like this, it's always like that. It's always like that. Can we go left? No, we cannot. I love sunbathing. The warm sunlight always makes me feel at home. Well, you know you kind of are at home, so... All right, second floor? Well, third floor, because technically the second floor was up the first flight of stairs. All right. This is my trump room! It's made especially for my favorite card games. Do you want to play with me? Oh, I... Not yet. Not sure I want to play right now. Well, I am! And if I say I want to play, then we're going to play! Oh. I, I don't have a choice. Never mind. Do you need me to explain the rules? 
Yes, please. All you need to do is flip the cards. It doesn't matter what you get, you will win as long as you flip them all. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin, but I'm not sure about what you're trying to say. What do you mean? Just flip them all over and it'll be quick about it. You gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Uh, alright. Can we leave? No. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Can we talk to the pumpkin in the far right? Yep. Yeah, far left, I mean. Hey, do you want to see my poker face? Sure, let's see it. Ready, here I go. Let me guess, you look like a pumpkin. <laughs> so, did you like it? Yes, pumpkin. That's a nice expression you have there. I mean... Let, oh, no, wait a minute. I'm guessing it didn't change. It still looked the same. Do we have to sit on the pillows? Oh, okay, yeah, we do. Let's start. I go first. Game start. Flat a card. Flat a card. Flat a card. Flat, 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 flat a card. Flat us turn. Is this a game of match? All right, we got that one. Oh, okay, it is a game of match. Rabbit and fox. Okay, your turn. Where where did you even get cards this huge? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Rabbit. Rabbit. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be beat Fleta. I'm gonna die, aren't I? You win! And that's how MC died. I won! Why isn't that great for you? You weren't even that good. I was just distracted. I let you win because I was feeling sorry for you. Isn't that right, Egliette? I'm better at card games than Miss Smarty Pants here, aren't I? Squeak. I thought so. What are you looking at me like that for? Come on, let's do something else. Follow me. Yes, Fleta. Can I kick your ass again? Come on, I want to play cards again. I want to kick your ass all the time. Hey, I want to talk to her too. Can we, can we interact with my... Oh no, that is not the interact button. I think the button to interact with your partner was A, but it's not working anymore, so... I guess there's nothing to say? Maybe? This is where I usually drink my tea with Egliette. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Why, thank you, miss. That's it? No games here? Hey, miss, can I ask you a question? What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I heard you're going to lose to Fleta in every game you play. Is it true? Oh, no. Well, it's good that I saved back in the first floor. Maybe I can just lose the, the next time if this is the wrong path. Oh, pumpkin, I'm flattered! Oh no. Wonderful array. Are you hungry? Let's take a seat and drink some tea. <laughs> yes, let's. Just don't eat any of my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Just drink the tea or something. What do you mean? Chubby girls always get married last. Isn't that right, Egliette? Sweet squeak. <laughs> Come, let's sit. To be fair, some people like chubby girls. Fleta, can I ask you a question? Of course, what is it? Why are you always so mean to me? Have I done anything to upset you? Mm, no, not really. Why do you ask? I don't know. You're always in a bad mood, so I just thought... You're not very good at thinking, are you? <laughs> Look, Egliette, I made her upset. Squeak. She totally does. Squeak, squeak. Fleta! What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy talking to Ugly yet? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Silence! <laughs> if this was Ugly yet, that's literally the next line. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. Didn't she, Ugly yet? Squeak. I'm so sorry, Fleta. I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. Hmm. Then how about you prove it to me? How? Show me that thing you always carry around with you. My pocket mirror? Uh-huh. Show it to me and I'll forgive you. I... 
Don't show it to Fleda. I'm sorry, Fleda, I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's just a dumb mirror. I have a feeling you're gonna drop it. Now hand it over. I want to see what's so special about it. Oh no. Oh shit, we still have to give it. Alright, here you go. Oh, shut up, Egliette. I just have as much right to hold it as she does. But even so, this pocket mirror is really ugly. Why do you even care so much about it? Are you sure this is gold? It looks really fake to me. I almost screamed. I, I actually almost screamed. Hey, did we change seats? Hey, are you listening to me? Don't just look at me like that. I'm asking you if this toy of yours is actually made of gold. It's not a toy, Fleta. Huh. Fine then, here. You can have your toy back. And don't ever dare ignore me like that again. I'll hit you. Do you understand? Yes, Fleta. Good. Come on now, let's go do something else. Yeah, wasn't... Wasn't MC here? And... Ay, that was... Ay caramba. Isn't it a nice day today, Mrs. Pumpkin? Why, yes it is, Mr. Pumpkin. Alright. We will never sit down for tea with her again. Isn't that right, Egliette? Squeak. Uh... There we go. I knew there, there had to be a charm in here somewhere. Mm, up, I guess. This is actually my most special room. Really? Uh-huh. It's a magic room. It'll turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see, that's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. Let me guess, she's gonna say pink. But I don't like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? <laughs> I like blue. <laughs> but I like pink better, so we're going with pink. Why'd you even ask then? All right, now watch and learn. <laughs> Good day. What would li you like to see, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. You know, pink room isn't very definitive. It didn't need to have furniture in it. Let's go. All right. This is my big library. It's where I keep all of my favorite tales. There's not a single boring book in this whole room. You mean Tales of Her Eyes? Tales of Berseria? Taste Tales, the other Tales games? That's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading light right now. I don't, f I don't think you read at all. I'll give you 10 minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you, Fleta. Do, do, I guess I have to. The Complete Biography of Queen Egliette by Princess Fleta. There's a, there's a squeaky floorboard there. Oh no, there, there's a lot of squeaky floorboards. Never mind. Oops. Pumpkin charm, yay! Uh, is there anything on the ground floor shelves? Yes, there is. <clears throat> Reading voice. <clears throat> there was once a little messy, who was well known for being quite prizzy. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, embedded in aconite was her last dessert. Bestowed with such a cruel demise, said the missy, it is now God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom did her servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Flata would like this kind of story. You know, it, 
the story speaks to her. She can relate. <laughs> uh, Fleta, can you get out of the way? I want to read this first. Frilly Dresses in Pretty Countesses by Sir Pumpkin the Third. Is the sun going down? How to Dance the Waltz by Mr. Rabbit. Oh boy. Oh no, the, the, the shining of the sun is resetting. A Boy's Midnight Journey by Henry de... I can't pronounce that. Let's not read that yet because it's probably the right one to read. How to Be a Perfect Princess by Princess Fleta. Well, that's... It's a bit self-serving there. Huh? Yeah, the, the book I was looking at disappeared. Oh, I'm not gonna stand for this. Reload. Alright, we're back here. For consistency's sake, I... I agree to let Fleta hold the pocket mirror uh, in the previous floor. It, it went on without incident, but she was particularly more mean to me than when I refused. So I don't know why that is. A boy's midnight journey. Time to read this. Read the book. I would have missed this if I said no. Holy crap. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition. One that would only affect him during the night. One that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones that had perished. And despite the various attempts to cure him of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. Everything from this page on is scratched out. No one around him will ever know about this secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. That's the only thing written in the back. Ooh, that's freaky. Is everything the same? How to dance. Frilly dresses. Alright, this one's the same. Alright, can we get out, Fleta? I wish I had a time to read all of these books, but unfortunately I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Egliette? Are you finished yet? Yes, let's go. Let's go upstairs. No. Er, we, we, we need to check this room out first. This is actually my most special room. Oh, also, I, I was crazy a while ago. The Fleta and Egliette did not swap. I just didn't notice. Yeah, okay. So we already know this is going to turn pink. Fleta's going to be mean about not liking pink. Uh, there's three mirrors again. These are my three special mirrors. Special? Uh-huh. There's a mirror of prayer, then there's the mirror of truth, and then the mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me and I'll show you. Can we... Can, I want to look at the frilly dresses first. Or did that talk to a mirror? No, no, no. Okay, I just went to, straight to the mirror. This is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. Well, that sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. <laughs> you got roasted by a mirror, Miss Fleta. <laughs> Certainly not you, princess. What? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. Oh no, I am fine, Fleta. This is an order. Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant. Okay. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold that title, miss. And that one person is you. Oh no. <laughs> Fleta will remember that. I know, Egliet. Me, but I... That's enough. I knew it. Got what it deserved. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Alright. This is the mirror of truth. It will answer all of your questions with nothing but the truth. Ah, I see. I go first. 
<laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the pinkest of them all? That is you, princess. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Well, that's... Okay. <laughs> it could only have been you, Fleta. Right, Desho? Now you go, it's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know, it's your turn, not mine. Hmm... Huh. I'm gonna be save scumming all four of these options, by the way. Let's go with the most not related to me. Why won't Eglier talk to me? Why won't Eglier talk to me anymore? It is not that Queen Eglier won't talk to you, miss. You simply cannot hear her. See, I told you. Isn't the mirror right, Eglier? See? Let's go to the next mirror, come on! This is the mirror of prayer! I, it can make any wish come true! Really? Any wish? Uh-huh, just watch! Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall! Please make my mouth taste like candy forever! Are you sure you want that? Very well, princess. Your desire is my command. I, I would have specified what kind of candy, but you know. Imagine if the mirror picked sour candy. Now I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. Uh, then oh, come on, MC. Then I want a pocket mirror. What? Why would you want something like that for? You already have one. Your desire is my command. Acquired a pocket mirror. <laughs> Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you ask for a, another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. What? <laughs> you look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that, Baka? Just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. But I... Let's go. Follow me! Can this be fixed? May you ever lose yourself in the princess's madness and I sh And I shall aid you in your sadness. It may take time as the princess isn't very honest, but only you can put her to rest. What do you mean? Excuse me, you're the mirror of truth. You answer the question. Well, then I guess I guess not answering the question is, you know, not technically not telling the lie. All right, I'm gonna save scum the other options. Be right back. All right, let us go with. I'm gonna leave who am I at, at, as last. What is my name? Mirror, could you tell me what my name is? That is something only you can find out. I see. Oh well, that's how it is. Let's go to the next mirror. Come on, oh come on. That, that, that mean, didn't make any sense. All right, why can't I remember my own name? Why can't I remember my own name? It is not a matter of remembering your name. It is a matter of finding it. What does that mean? It must mean your name is so ugly, no one will even pronounce it. What? Can't you even take a joke? Come on now, let's go to the next mirror. Okay, last one. Who am I? Who am I? I am sorry, miss, but that is a question which has no answer as of yet. How can that be? Oh well, that's how it is. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, okay, I get it. So, I have no identity and I have to find out who I am. That's what the mirrors are telling me. Alright, let's get to the next floor. I'm scared, but let's go. That's an awfully ominous room. What's in the right? Another ominous room. Left first, I guess. Oh, it's not that ominous. This is my favorite room in the whole house. I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Egliette. This room is really beautiful, Fleta. Isn't it? 
Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes. Sit down? Okay. The sofa is so comfortable, I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Egliet gets one for me. Egliet really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Egliet? Squeak. See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You have me and Egliet. Isn't that enough for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant. Somehow, I just feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time now, and I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Hmm. Well, I can assure you you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. Egliet and I have always been here for you, and always will be. Right? Is that some sort of meta commentary? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliet, too. Oh, thank you, Egliet. <laughs> Good. Are, are we just stargazing? Actually, I've always wanted to ask you something. You have? What is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What, what, what do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, we need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> Or maybe we can make a whole new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? Uh, Fleta. I don't know if I want to stay here. Wrong answer. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine too. No, I mean, I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. I have to go. Go where? I don't know exactly where, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> Find out who you are! Fleta, I can't stay here with you. Okay, here we go. The, the, the dead Yandere eyes. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not gonna let you go anywhere. Fleta? You've already found me! What else do you need? Or are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here. With me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Now that that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Egliet? I don't need you telling me that. Oh, a shooting star. Okay, I, I thought I thought it was just me. Oh look, miss, a shooting star! <laughs> Quick, let's let's make a wish. Oh no, I didn't have the time to make all the wishes I wanted. What did you wish for, miss? A way out. <laughs> oh, I. It's a secret. <laughs> oh come on, don't be stingy. Just tell me. <laughs> But you're not supposed to tell. Hmm. Fine, don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play. Fleta, I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. You're my friend. You belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what will become of you, don't you? So let's go play. Answer me. Yes. Good, let's go. It's also kind of uncomfortable that the character you're controlling is Fleta. <laughs> this, this, this room looks both ominous and creepy. Also, this looks like all the gacha, all the gacha crystals ever. You know when you get an SSR and you get a rainbow crystal or... It's actually that very common across games. You get rainbows when you get a high rarity item. Here we are! This is my playground! It's where I keep all my toys! I wanted to check the next floor then. You have so many! Obviously! I'm a princess after all. 
Let's go play, come on! Okay, we can't get out. Mm. A ragdoll plays with a gentle smile. Okay. This probably has... One of you probably has tokens. There we go. I mean charms. Uh, this is my rocking horse. Could say it rocks out. Ooh, a train set. When I was a kid, I had a train set too. I love trains. A miniature train play set rests on the ground. The various carriages have been carefully polished. Numerous teddy bears. Unicorn. Drum. Guard. Imposing nutcracker soldiers stand by the bottom of the stairs. What? 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 Fleda is looking at us. Oh, don't worry. They're just guarding my toys. I see. Yeah, I was like, the last line said, the eyeballs are fluttering insanely. Yeah, see? Their eyeballs roll insanely inside their sockets. Oh, God. You, we, we don't want to piss Fleda off, do we? Anything else? I'm pretty sure we have to examine the chair. But that's the last thing I'm going to examine. Okay, well, no choice. Chair it is. Or not. Oh, there we go. Here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's all right. Egliet will explain you the rules. What does that matter? She can just play it anyway. But I can't hear what Egliet says. Ah, fine. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. Oh, I see. It sounds fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go to the cage to the other cage so we can start. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Game start. Do I want to win this? I'll go first. Fleta's turn. I got eight. Good job, Fleta. Good job. Is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I don't know why I'm still even still playing with you. Well, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Fleta. What do you want? Hurry up. It's your turn now. You know, I'm just going to win. Just to shut her up. If, if I can. Oh, I need to press the confirm key. Are there even enough butterflies to win? Five. Six. Seven. Oh, it's gonna be a tie. Oh no, there's one more. I think we're out of butterflies. Yeah, that was all the butterflies on the field. I won! Yeah, I'm dead. You're a cheater, that's what you are! I'm a princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> we will just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. Sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me that you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win at hide and seek fair and square. I... But I thought we were friends. Let's tell it to her straight. And we are friends! And I just don't like you very much. Oh shush, Egliet. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> anyway, let's play. <sighs> Answer me! Yes. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Ten. This is gonna suck. Can we can we go back in? All right. Safe room. All right. Let's go to. Let's go experience hell, shall we? 
Or not? Oh, there's a book here now. <clears throat> Dear Diary, Today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one would tell me where she, where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with mother, but she spent too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because father is away. Dear- Ten days later. Dear Diary, I wish we didn't live far away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and brother spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. Dear Diary, today my tutor fell ill during class. He's, he had what brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he will be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden. But it started raining so I had to stay inside. It's re it was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room because she isn't there anymore. Fleta. I don't like Mother. Alright, we got art in the background now. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Egliette, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egliette doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious that father is a boy because he's going to war again. I don't understand him. 1864? Were there any wars in 1864? Oh, 1862? Being with Egliette is really fun. I never fe feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories too. My favorite story is about that time when Egliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. Oh, I see. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The, vo the fox even had a red dress. Egliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow too. I can't wait. I love Egliette. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the s story Egliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid, I hated it. Three, five... That's like the next month, right? My favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress up with Egliette and we will only wear pink dresses. When my eyes turn pink? But I'll have to cut my hair because it's too long and I like it shorter. Whose diary is this? I don't know, who do you think? Do I want to go up? I'm not- I'm gonna leave up for later. Also, this place without music is very eerie. Did the books change? No, the books are the same. Did, does the mirror have anything to say? A tall golden framed mirror devoid of reflections. Okay, the, the mirrors have nothing to say. Ground floor? Oh, we're not in the ground floor yet, right? Even the pumpkins have nothing to say to me. No. Really? No. Oh, some pumpkins have something to say to me. Hmm. This feels like a save in case you suddenly die moment. All right. I guess we have to go to the top floor. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Brace myself, brace myself. Okay. I shouldn't go in there. Oh, okay. Thank God. She's not out the door. Oh, there she is. God damn. She almost got me. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Took you long enough. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. Go back to the playground. You stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. Harder. You're really bad at playing. Not that bad. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I'll give you a head start then, miss. I will count to 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that all right? Really? Yes, really. I'll be going now. Do your best, all right? Oh, God, there's an actual timer. Let's... There's nothing... There's no... Actually, you can hide behind the dresses. No, no, no. Let's, let's not hide behind the dresses. What is that sound? No! I don't like this! I accidentally read it! Oh my god. We're dead. We're, 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 we're actually dead. I, what do you mean you shouldn't go in there? You shouldn't be in this house! Flit us in there! Uh uh we're 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 screwed. And we uh uh what What are you doing here? Why aren't you hiding? Uh, I didn't have time to play to find a place to hide. Didn't have time? Are you still going on with your ugly lies, miss? But 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 I'm not lying. I I've had it with you, miss. I'm dead. It seems we really can't be friends after all. Fleda, what do you mean? Come with me. I'm taking you where you belong. Fled, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I just... Too bad. I'm already upset. Now come with me. I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Fleda! What happened? Oh. Did she push me down the stairs? Yeah, she pushed me down the stairs. Whoops. Oh dear, it seems she fell down the stairs. Poor thing, do you think that hurt? Oh well. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so aside from accidentally reading the goddamn. <laughs> accidentally reading the goddamn uh, diary. I actually don't know where to hide. Also, I probably would have panicked too much anyway. So... <laughs> I guess... I don't know. Where can you hide? Alright, I, I know that there's horror elements coming in now. I don't- I still don't know where to hide, by the way. Where is a good place to hide? Here? Under the cushions? Oh, crap. <laughs> Under the table, I guess? I legit don't know where to hide. 
There's things, look. There's horror bunnies outside the window. You know, I'm just gonna stand here. I, I, I legit don't know how to hide in this game. Okay. So after a bunch of failing, I think there's only one thing I can actually do. Remember the mirror that said that sh it would help me if Fleta went mad? I think... It I think it's gonna actually... Yeah, it is. Mutton? I knew it. Well, I didn't know it. I just had to deduce from... I, I re-watched the footage, basically. Acquired Liebs brief. Lieb Liebs brief. Sounds German. I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany- Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> well, whatever. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Well, you found me. What are you doing here? <gasps> Flat, I'm sorry. I ask you what you were doing here. <laughs> Answer me. You just what? I told you I want you to stay here with me. To be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies. You're coming with me, miss. To the place where the ill-behaved girls belong. Ooh, that's chonky. You've been a bad friend, miss. <laughs> Fleta, don't leave me here. Don't worry. I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. <laughs> Fleta, no. And we're back to the horror. I need to get out of here. I really need to get out of here. Broken nutcracker. It's really dark in here. No shit. Uh. I... Do I even have anything? Toys. 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 Broken Nutcracker Soldier. What's going on? You're finally here! We've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here! She's as beautiful as I sh thought she would be. Of course she was. She's the chosen one! The chosen one! I need to get out of here. I need to save. So... If you guys want to get out of here, leave a like and subscribe for more. I'm freaked out. See you guys.